Hi, welcome to Turtlewood Pellets. My name is Michael. Today we're going to discuss about buying a wooden artist pallet. When considering buying a wooden artist pallet, there are several things that you would want to take into consideration when buying a pallet. One would be the workspace that you work in, the size of the pallet, uh, is the pallet comfortable, and the tone of the pallet. Let's consider your workspace. You need to make sure that you have enough room to move around with the pallet freely. If you're working in a confined area and you don't have a lot of space, you might consider using a smaller wooden pallet. If you have room to move around and get the full benefit of an artist pallet that you can hold in your hand and carry around, then you might want to go with a larger pallet. Size of the person using the pallet is also important. So if you're a small person, consider you getting a small pallet. A large pallet for somebody around five feet is very difficult to use, but if you use a lot of paints, then you want to consider using a larger pallet. If you use fewer paints, consider getting a smaller pallet. This all can be very confusing, but it won't be by the end of this video. There are different sizes that we offer here at Tudorwood Pallets. We have a Pro Series 3 pallet, which is our smallest pallet, and then we have the largest one, which is our Pro Series 1 pallet. And then we also have a pallet in between, which is a Pro Series 2 pallet. Underneath the Pro Series 3 pallet, you can see this is how it might look when you're using your pallet with your paints on the pallet. You also notice that the pallets aren't white. We tone our pallets so that you are able to see the values of your paints easier and also use the pallet as a value gauge when mixing your colors. So we use the same color on all of our palettes. On the Pro Series 1 palette, which is this one here for a right-handed artist, you can see below is how somebody has used the palette mixing their paints, which uses a lot of paint and pre-mixes their paints. If you tend to paint with few paints and also mix your paints all together in one place, consider going with a smaller palette like this artist here. They have 11 paints on their palette and then they mix all their colors as they paint in the middle. The comfort of the palette is very important. If you're going to be holding the palette for a long period of time, you want to make sure that you get a palette that is comfortable for you to use, that doesn't have any areas that will be binding or pinching on your hand, and is also not heavy to use. The weight of the pallet is very important. Let me show you here, I'll grab this one down here. In our Pro Series 3, it's a very lightweight pallet, and we'll weigh that in just a second. But we also contour the back side of the pallet to be comfortable fitting against your hand. We make all our pallets by hand here at Turtlewood Pallets. The weight of this pallet, turn the scale on, is 23 ounces, which is relatively light. So you, it's difficult to find a pallet that light on the market. So those are basically the things that you want to consider when buying a wooden artist pallet. Take those things into consideration, and we, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. You can go to turtlewoodpallets.com. Thank you very much.